everyone. I'm Ms. Anjana Shri from class 5. Now, I'm going to do a project on food adulteration. We grow, work, play, repair and so on in our day-to-day -day life. We need energy to do all these things. But what gives us this energy? It's of course food. We eat food to stay healthy and fit. But you know sometimes when we buy when we buy food, the shopkeepers mix similar things to the food and give it to us. When we eat them, we get diseases. This process is called food adulteration. Now let me show you some simple examples of food adulteration. First of all, ice cream. You know what ice cream is adulterated using? Ice cream is adulterated using washing powder. You know how to find whether ice cream is adulterated or not? First step, squeeze lemon in it. Then, if the ice cream is frothing and bubbling, I am sure that it's impure. You know the health hazard caused by adulterated ice cream? It's stomach disorders and liver disorders. The next thing is honey. You know what honey is adulterated using? Honey is adulterated using glucose. You know how to find whether it's adulterated or not? First, mix honey with water. Then, if it disperses in instantly, then it indicates impurity. You know the health hazard caused by adulterated honey? We get anemia. The next thing is black pepper. Black pepper is adulterated using dried papaya seeds. How to find it? Put it in alcohol. Then if, uh, if it's adulterated, the papaya seeds will sink and the black pepper will stay afloat. The health hazard caused by adulterated black pepper is liver disorder. The next thing is turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is adulterated using kesari dal. How to find it? Mix it with 20 ml of water. Then squeeze the lemon in it. If it turns pink or purple, it indicates impurity. You know the health hazard? It's stomach disorders and carcinogenic, which is causing cancer. The next thing is ghee. Ghee is adulterated using starch. How to find it? Pour few drops of iodine on it. If the color of the ghee changes into purple, it indicates impurity. Health hazard is stomach disorders. Now, let me show you some simple examples of adulterated food on here. First thing is ghee. Ghee is adulterated using other vegetable oils. You know how to find whether ghee is adulterated or not? First, we have to melt it. Then, we have to freeze it. If it shows many layers or some layers, it's impure. Pure ghee does not have many layers. If you can see here, there are two layers over here. So, this is adulterated ghee. The next thing I want to show you is salt. This is pure salt. This is chalk powder. So salt is adulterated using chalk powder. This is adulterated salt. Hmm. This is very similar to pure salt. So let's do a simple experiment to find whether it's adulterated or not. First, I take some salt from this bowl and put it in the water. Then from here to now I give it a stir. Now if you see this is pure salt because it the salt has disappeared fully in the water. But if you see this one is white in color which indicates the chalk powder present in it and also the tiny particles of the chalk powder stay at the bottom 
So, it clearly shows that this is pure salt and this is adulterated salt. Now, the next thing I am going to show you is chili powder. This is chili powder. This is brick powder. So, chili powder is adulterated using brick powder. This is adulterated chili powder. Wow, it looks very similar to the chili powder. So, how can we find it? Let's do a simple experiment. First, I take the chili powder from this uh, bowl and mix it with this water. Then, I take from this bowl as well and put it in this water. So, now we give it a stir. So, now if I take this from the bottom, nothing is remaining. But if I take here from the bottom, can you see this brick dust? It does not dissolve in water. So, it clearly shows that this one is pure and this one is adulterated. Okay, so be cautious when you buy food items. Don't be fooled. Okay, bye.